Welcome to Grand Sumo Highlights. It's day 10 of the September tournament from the Koku Gikan. And Endo has an amazing tournament so far. Can he continue the run? They're chasing that man, Goedo. Speaking of amazing, he's doing better. His best career start. And there's an old Zeki superb. Goedo, Haramafuji and Endo in the Yusho race. But there are two lost men. They're in the hunt as well. And Kisuno Sato, he's one of them, looking for his first tournament victory. The Mane and Onre banner is down, thanking the fans for making it a full house again. We start off with Ura and Toyo Hubiki. Ura up from Jurio for the second time this tournament. Toyo Hubiki at three and six. Ura, well, he's an unusual situation for him. He's never had a losing record in his career. He'll have to dig deep, and he's got to do it from here, taking on Toyo Biki, a big hitter at the Tachiai, the initial charge. Ura, he loves to get in and under. And he does that right from the start. Toyo Biki starts out with his thrusts to the throat of Ura, who pulls the undershoulder swing down, using the momentum of Toyo Biki to pick up his fourth win. Vicky does leave the feet behind. And Ura, well, he's still got work to do, but there's the smile that says it all. His fourth win. He needs four more to get a winning record. Kataskashi, under shoulder swing down. Gets in low as usual, Ura. Toyobiki with his thrust, but watch the feet. He leaves them behind, Toyobiki, as he lunges forward. Ura gets the arm under the shoulder and swings him down for the win. Saronumi and Endo. Endo is absolutely brilliant this time out. With just the one loss so far, he takes on Saronumi. Sadonumi has a slight edge in there, head-to-head. Sadonumi looking to get inside, doesn't get in at all, and all over him is Endo for a quick win by Yorikiri, force out. Another day at the office for Endo. He gets in quick. Left hand in, right hand outside grip. Sadonumi no match, and a frontal force-out victory for Endo. He moves to 9-1. and one. Dynamic sumo from the most popular man in the sport, Endo. Next on the clay, we have Kotoyuki and Kageyaki. Kotoyuki going for Kachikoshi, that's eight wins, is what you need out of a 15-day tournament. He's seven and two. And Kageyaki, well, a chance to get his first top division, Kachikoshi, in the next few days. He's six and three. A thrusting attack coming up. Kageyaki hits high on Kotoyuki. Kotoyuki deflects him, though, and gets his thrusting going and wins. Oshidashi victory for Koto Yuki. Four losses now for Kageyaki. There was a pivotal point in this bout, and the experience of Koto Yuki, whilst he's a young man, he learns quickly. Now, that thrust initially got a poke in the eye, Koto Yuki. But Kageyaki gets pulled right there. Now, that's what set it up for the win. He's off balance. Koto Yuki pounces on him. Gets a few pushes in as well. And wins by Oshidashi. The frontal push out. So Koto Yuki getting a winning record on day 10. A few tournaments ago he had an excellent 12 and 3 record. But he gets it Kachikoshi day 10 now. Well you've picked up a day 10 Kachikoshi. 
Yeah, I'm obviously aiming for Kachikoshi as quickly as I can, and I'm very happy. This particular tournament, what's going well? Well, I had some good practice before the tournament, so it's working for me, and that's good. Now we look at Tamawashi and Amakaze. Mirror records, Tamawashi 6 and 3, Amakaze 3 and 6. Tamawashi's won the last four in a row. Amakaze's lost his last four in a row. It's a first time meeting in the top division. Thruster on the right. He gets his thrust going. Amakaze retaliates with some thrusting of his own. Gets forced back, but quickly retaliates again. A couple of slaps. One, two, and now three. And Tamawashi gets Amakaze out and a bit of a pummeling to the face to boot. Right, look on the face of Tamawashi. Tamawashi. Picks up his seventh win. Good tactic here by Amakaze. Comes out with a shoulder blast. Forearm to the face. Then starts thrusting as well, matching it with Tamawashi initially. But Tamawashi gets a few slaps in here after he gets forced back. There's one. Pushes again, there's two. Keeps pushing and three. Open hand, no problem in sumo. And forces Amakaze over the Tawada for his seventh win. Now we have Mitakeumi and Ikioi. Both determined fighters here. They're meeting for just the second time. Determined man shows on the face, Mitaka Umi. Good hit, both men coming out with a forearm blast. Ikioi, good attack to the throat by a move there. Good move by Mitaka Umi. Swings around once again, misses with the throw. Ikioi. He tries another attempt, but inside deep is Mitaka Umi and gets Ikioi to the edge and out. Wins by Yuri Kiri. Frontal force out win. Okay. This man has a bright future. Forearm blast by Ikioi. The throat attack briefly by Mitakeumi. Ikioi tried to fend that off. Now he tries a throw in a moment, just about here, which is not a good position to throw from from Ikioi. And he gets caught high. Mitakeyumi tries to raise him up. A headlock throw attempt which slips. And now Mitakeyumi has a double inside grip. He's all over Ikioi. Ikioi tries his best to retreat and try and pull a throw. But to no avail, the seventh win for Mitakeyumi. Next up on the clay, we have Takanoiwa and Tochinoshian. Not having great tournaments. But they get easier men to fight in the last third. And this is a battle of Yotsuzuma men. Men who like to fight on the Mawashi. Takanoiwa comes in low against Tochinoshin. He gets a strong left-hand outside grip. Shallow left-hand grip by Takanoiwa. They're showing the power of Tochinoshin. He is a very strong man. He tried to lift up the 148 kilos of Takanoiwa. And now tries an outside leg trip. Takanoiwa has a strong shallow grip and deep with the right. A throwing attempt by Tochinoshin. At the edge, another leg trip, this time by Takanoiwa. He needs to dig deep here because Tochinoshin has power. He has him next to the edge, can't get him over. Classic Yotsuzumo. Mawashi battle between two very powerful men. Takanoiwa seems to be in a better position because he's lower. Trying to force Tochinoshi into the edge, but can't do it. The foot goes out. The judge raises the hand. Uh, Takanoi was not quite aware what's going on, but now he realizes. And they're both exhausted after that fierce battle. But it's Takanoi's victory. He goes to four and six. Tochinoshi in a losing tournament for him, two and eight. Bread and butter Yorikiri, but it wasn't bread and butter the way he got there. 
sheer power and a huge struggle by both men to get the advantage. A couple of positions here where Tochinoshin could have tried Uchari, the backward pivot throw, but he, he chose to try the power game of lifting up and then swinging around. Instead of just pivoting, he tries the outside leg trip. That doesn't work. Takadoiwa stays solid. He's got good lower body strength. And upper body strength from Tochinoshin couldn't get the job done today. An outside leg trip by Takanoiwa. And all the time forcing Tochinoshin back. And eventually, the foot goes over the edge. Now Yoshikaze and Kaise. The numbers don't look good for them, but they give it their all when they're up on the clay. Yoshikaze. Four and five, Kaisei two and seven. Yoshikaze is usually in low. Kaisei grabs the arm and pulls the throw. An arm lock throw. Caught to Nage. A comfortable win in the end. Yoshikaze leading with his face as usual. Kobasubi picks up a valuable win to go to three and seven. A low charge by Yoshikaze, that's typical. Tries to get under the armpits of Kaisei. Kaisei angles the attack here. Moves slightly back and then grabs the arm as Yoshikaze lunges forward and pulls the arm lock through. Okunumi and Takayasu. Two men who have delighted the fans this tournament with their excellent sumo. And Takayasu, the Shin Sekiwake, he's a new Sekiwake, taking on Okunumi, who lost yesterday to Goedo, but he still only has two losses. They're both seven and two. Takayasu has the edge in their rivalry, but Okunumi likes to get the left hand in, right hand out. Takayasu, he can change the attack when needed. A soft touch, yeah, really. They both get left hand. He tries a slap down victory, but that doesn't come off. They both have a left hand in, but nothing with the right. Takayasu trying to squeeze on the elbow here of Okonomi to force that grip away from the inside left. Neither man getting a strong presence here in terms of the right hand. They both got a left hand in. Takayasu tries to swing around a throw down. That doesn't work. So now it's a case of sucking in the big ones, get some deep breaths, and formulate a plan. Shaking of the hips from Takayasu. Trying to throw off the grip of Okunomi, who still, like Takayasu, just has the left hand. Both men hanging the right loose. Can clamp down on the elbow of Takayasu to apply pressure. Now he tries to get the right, but that doesn't work. And Takayasu, when he does that, makes the mistake. And Takayasu wins. Yorikiri, frontal force out. And it's Kachikoshi for him on day 10. Okunumi, his second loss in a row. He drops off the main leaderboard now with 7-3 and three record. And Takayasu... Excellent sumo again. By a man new to this rank. Okunumi, he'll be back for another day. Straight away, he got the grip he wanted, Okunumi, but he was almost pulled down there because Takayasu could feel that his feet were well back and he was vulnerable, but he stayed on his feet, Okunumi, and then it just became a chest-to-chest -chest battle on who was going to dominate with the left hand? The mistake coming up here for Okunumi. He tries to get the right, and as he leans forward, Takayasu rallies and wins. Well, my aim is always, of course, to get Kachikoshi and getting a day 10. I'm very happy as a Shin Sekiwake. I just want to do my sumo. Well, I'll keep doing as best I can, and hopefully it'll be a good result. The Battle of the Ozeki here, both going for Kachikoshi, Koto Shogiku and Kiseno Sato. The number one all-time for head-to-head matchups. 
They're meeting for the 61st time. Hoka Shogaku has a slight edge in their rivalry, 32 to 28. Kisuno Sato still chasing that elusive title. Quick away as Kisuno Sato gets the left hand inside, forces up Koto Shogaku. Now a solid left hand inside for Koto Shogaku and also a left for Kisuno Sato. Trying to wiggle the hips as Koto Shogaku to throw off the grip of Kisuno Sato. And he gets down much lower. An awkward position is Kisuno Sato. Needs a stronger position. Goes Maki Kai. That's a change inside. And that was a mistake by Koto Shogaku. Kisuno Sato sees the moment and gets his eighth win. Classic Ozeki battle. And Kisuno Sato is the victor. Stays in the Yusho race with the two losses. The frontal force out, Yuri Kiri. Trying to move from the left is Kisuno Sato. They both get left hand in. Much lower is Koto Shogiku. He wiggles the hips to try and shake the grip of Kisuno Sato there. He loses the grip momentarily. Koto Shogiku not in a position to do anything with it. Now once again, Kisuno Sato gets the left in. Moves forward. And now Koto Shogiku tries to put the right hand inside and as he does he's forced up higher and forced back and out and a win for Kisuno Sato it really was classic Ozeki Yotsuzumo Kisuno Sato picks up his eighth win on day 10 another Ozeki battle Teruro Fuji and Goedo the tournament leader They've met 11 times. Goedo has an 8-3 to three edge. No fear from him. Teno Fuji not in good physical shape. And has lost a couple of bouts where he should have won in the past. So this is a golden opportunity for Goedo. Teno Fuji needs to dig in here. Show his Ozeki pride. Face slap, Terano Fuji, he's automatically high. Goedo gets in deep, Morozashi, double hand inside grip, no chance for Terano Fuji. And Goedo stays undefeated. A tournament of surprises, and this man's the biggest one. He's an Ozeki, but no one expected him to be leading the race. After 10 days. Face slap. Doesn't cause too much trouble for Goedo. He gets inside quickly. And then gets the left hand in as well. Tenono Fuji's trying a, a clamp down on the arms to try and swing him around for a victory. But that just doesn't work. And Goedo picks up his 10th win. Amazing start by the Ozeki who has been struggling. He's only had one real solid tournament since he became an Ozeki. But this time he's in charge. And certainly in charge of this battle with Terano Fuji from start to finish. Terano Fuji in a big hole. He has six losses now. He needs four more wins to get Kachikoshi with five days to go. But that man, he's got to be very happy. Aoyama. Maegashita 5 takes on Yokozuna Hanamafuji here. Yokozuna with just one loss. One behind the tournament leader, Goedo. And level with Endo. Aoyama has beaten him three times in 14 meetings. Yokozuna in quickly. Aoyama gets his thrusting going, but he's not moving the Yokozuna back. The Yokozuna gets in, solid right hand, and wins by frontal crush out, Yori Taoshi. The big man crumbles to the clay. And the 
Yokozuna keeps his one loss record, nine and one. He comes in fast, the Yokozuna. Initially a good thrust from Aoyama, but he goes back thrusting. He needs to be moving forward. Now he steps forward, but the Yokozuna gets underneath his defenses. And now that solid right hand inside. There. And that's the winning move as he raises up Aoyama and crunches him to the clay. Our final bout here. The Subino Ichiban. It's Kakiryu and Takara Fuji. Kakadu not having a great tournament, he already has three losses. He has an overwhelming edge in his rivalry with Takara Fuji. They've met ten times, Kakadu's won nine of them. Kakadu with a throat attack forces Takara Fuji high. He's trying to get in with his left hand. Yokozuna's not letting him. Yokozuna gets a grip in momentarily. And now he has a right hand shallow grip. Does Kakidu tries to force Takara Fuji back over the rice bale. That doesn't work. But still no grip by Takara Fuji. Yokozuna only has the right hand and is fending off with the other. They take a breather. Takara Fuji trying to get something going. Yokozuna continues the press, continues to press forward and, well, wins in comfort at the end to get his seventh win. Standard Yorikiri, frontal force out win for Kakadu. Numerically, I guess he's still in the race, but seven and three, not a great number for a Yokozuna after 10 days. Takara Fuji never got a look in here. He was trying to get inside all the time. The Yokozuna, constant movement, constant pressure. He was the only one that really got any grip to speak of with a right hand shallow grip. And Takara Fuji couldn't answer the call and was forced over the edge for his seventh loss. After 10 days of action, Goedo still leads on his own. Hanuma Fuji and Endo chase with one loss and two losses. Kisuno Sato, Takayasu and Kotoyuki. The last third of the tournament to come and that's when it really gets exciting. Join us for day 11 coverage of the September tournament from the Kokugika in Tokyo. Bye for now.